Mataji, tidbit number 35. Suffering, cause, cessation, path. This is the core of the quest of Siddhartha. What is the suffering? Suffering happens due to cause and effect. By understanding the impersonal nature of everything, with that knowledge one comes to realize nothing is happening to us. Everything is happening from us. Let's say that again. Nothing is happening to me. Everything is happening from me. Hmm. Puts me in a powerful position more control than I thought I had in life. Because we grew up with misinformation about how things actually work, through no fault of anyone else, most human beings grow up believing they have to control their emotional outbursts and reactions by suppressing them, subduing them, these reactions seem to contr control their life. But do we actually have to be rough with the arising of emotions if we understand how they actually work? Perhaps not. What we need to go by is the imperfection of an arising emotion. When it sweeps upon us and comes up, we need to laugh at it because we have the knowledge of anicca. All things are impermanent. If we understand this as a natural law, it's true in all cases. So what we need to do when something arises is let go of it. Let go of the imperfection. Smile because we have this knowledge and replace it with a counterpart such as found in the sutta, Subhasava Sutta, Majjhima Nikaya number two, all 16 different examples of imperfections arising in the Buddha's meditation were solved by abandonment and replacement with the counterpart, which was wholesome. Why is this so important? Because Siddhartha was actually in touch with the neurocognitive science we know is true today. Nothing can change unless we train our brain to the counterparts. And finally, the neural pathways in our brain melt away and anger is replaced by loving kindness and compassion. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.